Hey guys, it's time to re-spool my uh, spinning reel here, and I just thought since I was going to do it, I might as well make a video and uh, show you guys how I do it. So let's just get started. As you can see, um, we are probably, uh, that's, a, that's a solid quarter, if not a little bit more down, and we really kind of want it to be about within an eighth, which is like a maybe a deep thumbnail from the top. So let's just get off this old line. Cut my hook off there, and I still got some my sinkers on here. Oh! So the first thing we need to do is to get all of our old line off. So how I like to take my uh, my line off my spinning reel is I like to just loosen up the drag, take the drag all the way down. That way I can just pull it off super easy like that. So we're at the end, and now we're just going to snip it off. So this is what we're left with, this big gob of fishing line. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how I dispose of this responsibly so um, animals, when it when this goes to the landfill, it doesn't get uh, tangled up in animals and stuff uh, and kill, kill nature. So we'll just set this off to the side, and we'll deal with this uh, at the end of the video. Okay, so I'm going to be restringing today with some uh, Berkeley Trialing Big Game 12 pound test. This particular reel will hold 260 yards of 12 pound test. If you're not sure um, exactly how much line your, your reels will hold, there should be on every reel this, uh, uh, some information on your spool here. And uh, so we got. Uh, It'll hold 410 yards of 8 pound test, 290 of 10 pound test, and 260 of 12 pound test. Right there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, open up our, our line here and we're going to run the end through all of our line guides starting from the top. I've actually taken my reel off my rod so I can show you guys something very important. Before you spool any line onto your spinning reel, you have to determine which direction your spool turns when you crank the handle. So let's go ahead, we're going to go ahead and crank the handle, and you can see that the reel spins in a counterclockwise direction. Now you're going to point the reel away from you. It's away from us, spin it counterclockwise. What we want is the line, when we go to put the line on, we want the line to come off the spool in, a, in, in the same direction that it will be going onto the reel. So if I were to do this, it's coming off clockwise. So that would be wrong. So all we're going to do is we're going to flip it around and when we go to take line off, you can see it's coming off in a counterclockwise direction. And that's what we want. So, all we want to do to connect the line to our reel is we're going to open up our bale, just like that, and we're going to tie two overhand knots, just like you would be tying your shoe. There's one, cinch it down, and here's two. I'm going to cinch that down until it's tight. We're going to take that tag end, and they're just going to snip it very close to the knot. Get rid of that. I'm going to close the bale up and I'm going to go ahead and install the reel back onto my rod. So now we're ready to start reeling and put our new line on our spinning reel. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, and we're just going to make sure we're, we're going to put it on the ground. We're going to make sure that the line is coming off in a counterclockwise position. So we're just going to put it on the ground. You can tighten our drag back up. And now we're just going to start slowly reeling the line back on to our spinning reel. Uh, you don't want to go too fast. You just want a nice, easy uh, speed. 
and we're just going to do that until we get to one eighth of this bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then uh, we'll get back to. Uh, and when we get to that point, I'll show you what that's going to look like. Okay, folks, so we've got it all filled up and we've stopped at about one eighth of an inch. So if you have a long thumbnail and you stick it over the lip, that's about what you want right there. Now we're just going to clip that off. And what we're going to do next. What we're going to do next is we're going to actually take the spool off of our reel. So you just do that by taking your drag and you want to unscrew your drag button all the way. It should pop off any minute now. Okay, so now we got our drag button off and we're going to take the spool off. It's kind of kind of springy. We're going to wrap it back up. And we're going to need a rubber band. Okay, so now we've got our spool and a rubber band. And we're just going to put the rubber band over and secure the line so it doesn't come off. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to go get a cup of hot water from the sink. Um, and you're going to drop your spool into the cup of hot water. And you're just going to leave it in there until the water cools off. So what the warm water will do is it'll relax the memory of the fishing line. And when it cools, it'll conform to the diameter of your spindle. So we have a, a smaller spindle compared to what uh, the line may have come off if you were using something like this. So you just let that uh, cool off. And uh, I actually picked kind of a crappy cup, so I need to get some tweezers and pull it out. So we just after it's cooled off, we're going to take it and reinstall it on our, on our spinning reel. Well, now all you got to do is rig up and you're ready to go fish with no casting problems. Uh, you won't have any tangles or uh, weird bird's nests happening. Uh, so now let's talk about disposing of the line that we took off here in a responsible way. So now we have all this line that we cut off and we just don't want to throw it in our garbage can. Uh, your pets can get into it. Let's say you were, I don't know, you're eating some, some chicken wings and you threw the bones in the garbage can and you got a cat that likes to get in there and fish out your bones like I do. Um, your cat can get tangled in this, your dog. Um, you know, if, if it manages to make it to the landfill, all kinds of, if you've ever been to a landfill, all kinds of animals hit that landfill looking for free food and this can just cause all kinds of havoc. So basically what you just want to do is you just want to wad it up and start cutting it. You want to cut it into as many little pieces as possible. You just want to make fishing line uh, little noodles out of it. And yeah, it's going to be kind of a mess and um, you know, it takes a little extra time out of your day, but I think it's uh, I think it's the responsible thing to do. Uh, you don't have any 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 animals getting jacked up with fishing line. Then you're just going to keep doing it. The other thing, if you're in a pinch, you can wad it up and stick it inside of a like a water bottle with a cap, an old Mountain Dew bottle. Just anything that you can secure it and you can throw it away that way. 
Uh, a lot of times that's what I'll do at, when I'm at the fishing lake. I don't want to, uh, I'll find someone else's line and I don't want to put it in my pocket and take it home and forget about it and then put it in my washing machine and have all that wrapped around like the arbors in my washing machine and stuff. So I'll just go uh, find a garbage, I'll just go find a garbage can uh, and I'm, there's almost always some sort of soda bottle in there and I'll just take it, wad it up, shove it down the soda bottle. I'll just take it, wad it up, shove it down the soda bottle, put the cap back on and put it back in the garbage can that way. Uh, a lot of places there are um, fishing line recycling bins uh, near like the docks and piers. They usually look like these uh, uh, big white PVC things. Usually they have a little sign. And you stick it in there and um, someone, I think Berkeley actually started that program. Uh, don't quote me on it because I'm not exactly sure. Um, but they go and they recycle all that fishing line and they turn it into fish attractors for uh, different bodies of water. Um, and if you don't know what a fish attractor is, it's uh, they make like these uh, plastic cubes, kind of like where you'd stick an old Christmas tree down in a lake so the crappie would have a place to hang out and you'd always know to go find crappie. But uh, that's what we got there. I mean, that's... You could probably do a little bit more on that. But uh, there's not there's not too much that's going to get tangled in that. Maybe just, just grab it, a, keep going, and grab a bunch of it there, and just keep cutting away. And uh, I mean that that right there. I mean that that looks pretty safe. Not much is going to get caught caught up and tangled in that. So oh, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I appreciate if you've subscribed. Hey, I uh, just want to take a minute to thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, I will try to get better at these videos. It's a little weird. I get a little nervous talking on camera. I mean, there's no one else here in the room with me, but I still get nervous. So anyways, that's it. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, share, and comment. I really appreciate uh, any of those things if you do them. So take it easy. Till next time.